In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make another effect from my cinematic What We Seek video. You can check that out via the link in the description below if you haven't seen it already. But the effect we're gonna be making is this fire embers effect, just sort of coming out of the fire and then creating stars in the sky. It's the very last shot from my cinematic film. Now, also, if you're interested in learning about all of the effects that I made in this cinematic video, then you can also check out my Travel Effects Pro course. There'll be a link in the description below Low, and I walk you through step by step how I made this video from start to finish, all of the major effects that I made, and also how I color graded and edited my entire video as well. So if you like these sort of videos and you wanna learn more about that process or get a really good look behind the scenes, then definitely check out my Travel Effects Pro and there'll be a link in the description below. Now for this, you'll just need a shot basically panning up over a fire and then into the sky. So the clip that you're watching here is pretty much exactly how I filmed it. Now, once I've got my clip here in the timeline, I want to start creating the fire embers. Now it's really good because there's already some real fire embers shooting out of the fire. And that makes this really good because we're gonna use that to try and recreate that from scratch. So what I've done here is you can just right click and create a new solid. I'm just gonna turn that off. And we're gonna use this to basically create the little path that of the fire ember basically shooting out. So what I like to do here is maybe create a little path, something like this. And what that we're gonna use that for is basically to create that animation path for that ember. Over the top of this, what I did was I just applied the stroke effect. Now I can turn that layer back on and you wanna set your stroke settings to be exactly like mine here on screen. We're gonna create a start and an end keyframe. And then we can go along our timeline here and we're gonna drag this all the way up to 100. Now I can also just turn off this button here and that's gonna basically hide that mask. And then we can start dragging up on this effect. Now what we wanna do here is we basically wanna set this at the end to be somewhere around 99.5, creates this little dot there. And what that does is it creates this little ember sort of flying through the sky. So you can see it's basically already animated. But what we want to do is if we take all of these right click and make them easy ease, we wanna create another little M or another little path in the middle here. And so I can just create another one there for both of those. But for this one, what I'm going to do is basically extend that slightly out. So it's somewhere around 42. And that's gonna create a bit of a longer sort of path and then it sort of changes shape again. So we end up with this path where it starts off quite long here at the start. We can even basically extend this out even more if you want it longer. Then as it's moving along that path, we want it to basically shrink into a, a small point or a star in the sky. So that's what I'm doing by creating or animating those points along that line. Now, if you're liking this video, then maybe consider subscribing to this channel. And just before we move on, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor, Invato Elements. Invato Elements is a one-stop shop for all your creative needs. Using their low monthly subscription, you get access to unlimited downloads for stock video, photos, video templates, music, sound effects, and millions of other creative assets. It's something that I've personally been using now for the past year, just because it saves me so much time in all of the different creative projects that I do. So instead of creating stuff from scratch, I can simply just go on there and download whatever I need for any of the projects that I'm working on. And I don't have to worry about getting copyright licenses for any of that stuff, because I can use it in all of my commercial projects. Now, if you're interested in trying out Envato Elements for yourself, you can use the special link down in the description below, and that's gonna give you 50% off when you sign up to an annual subscription. Then you want to basically select both of those, come in into the graph editor. And here is where you can adjust the, basically the in and out points of that middle one to basically keep the speed up. So you don't want it stopping in the middle. So you basically want to drag them up here so that they meet in the middle. Now you can also just select both of these, go to keyframe interpolation and make this continuous Bezier that will allow you to move these as one. And basically if you drag them both up, so they sit up here, it basically means you'll get a constant velocity curve. Also created a color keyframe here near the end because I wanted it to change color to a blue color. So I basically created two keyframes for the color and for the end color, 
I change this to be a bluey sort of gray and that creates a really nice transition from that harsh orange color to something a bit more of a bluey sort of gray color. Now what you can do is basically take that and then duplicate it. And then all I need to do is turn on my mask settings here so I can see what I'm doing and just change that mask path. Now you can just delete this mask and start again, but basically you wanna change the path to be something else. And if you do this and just keep stacking them on top of each other, you'll end up with multiple layers that look something like this. So they're all following different paths and they're all kind of moving in their own way until they end up as little stars in the sky. And once you overlay all those layers over that original clip, then you'll end up with something that looks like this. Now, one other thing that I did here was I took my background layer, which is my original video clip, I duplicated it and dragged it up here on top. And then to that layer, what I wanted to do is just isolate the fire. So what I did here was if I just turn on that layer, I basically use this to hide the start of those little embers. You can see them just down here. I just used that to hide the embers because the fire is meant to be sitting over the top. So what I did was I used a extract function to basically isolate, if I just show you that clip, to isolate just the fire, which is going to be the brightest part of the image. And then that way I can use it as an overlay. Now, once that's over the top, you don't see those embers which sit in behind it. Again, it makes it look much more realistic, kind of matches the entire finished frame. Now, again, this is just one effect from my cinematic video. And if you wanna learn how to make all of these different effects from that cinematic video, then you can check out my Travel Effects Pro course. There'll be a link down in the description below and you can check it out for yourself. Now, if you like this video, I can give it a thumbs up. If you love this video, then maybe consider subscribing to this channel. You can also check out more videos just like this one over here on the side of screen. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.